All right, just like I promised, here we are at Atom by GitHub, the very last video. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to install plugins uh, using Atom. Again, this will work for Linux and, and Windows, but I'll specifically be using OSX. And I'll be using OSX 10.10 uh, to install these packages. So let's go over to my Mac and we'll get started with this right away. At jaceacademy.com. There's also a link below this video which will link you here and all the plugins that I'll be using are also linked below this video. But here's the ones, uh, the, the, the plugins that we'll be installing for Atom. And as you can see here they are, I'm going to go ahead and open them up in different pages here. And the first one here is Atom Dark UI theme. And this is actually uh, the default dark UI theme for Atom. So you can actually go through here. This is a great example of a theme. So if you're interested in creating your own theme for Atom, you can go through this one and you can kind of see how a theme is built. Again, they use less and less is a superset of CSS. So if you're familiar with CSS, you can pick up less pretty quickly. Again, Dark UI theme, pretty awesome, comes with, with Atom pre-built. Next one up is the Solarized Dark UI theme. Now this one is a uh, contributed member uh, theme. So you can actually go through here and install this theme as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can set up uh, Atom with a theme here. I'm gonna open up Atom, open up a new window here. And I'm gonna go into Atom preferences or you can do command comma on your keyboard and here I am and what I want to do is I want to go under themes and I want to select uh, one light which is a light theme you can also go back and you can select the one dark and Adam dark which is the theme we were just looking at so I'm gonna go through here and I'm gonna select um, one light and I'm gonna go into packages actually install and I want to look for a theme and the one we're looking for is gonna be not the block cursor, but we're looking for solarized dark theme. So and probably to be able to find it, we should probably do let's open this one up one more time in another tab. Grab this name. Enter on there. And here it is. I'll click install. This is going to go ahead and install the theme now. It looks like it has finished. I'm going to go into themes and what I want to select here is Solarize Dark. And there we go. We just have changed the theme. That's how easy it is to install a new theme in Atom. All right. So next up is here we have the block cursor. And the block cursor is just a fancy cursor uh, customization that you can actually use that gives you a nicer cursor when you're actually programming. And you must be saying, Rick, why would you change the cursor? The original cursor is perfectly fine. You would think so, but this block cursor is just a little bit better. And I would, I would encourage you to give it a, give it a try. So we're going to go under install here and we want to paste that in there. And we're looking within the packages and this is searching for block cursor. So here it is, the block cursor. I'm going to click install and it's going to go ahead and install that block cursor for us. So if you open up a new tab here, you'll see the cursor there. Pretty nice, right? Um, so it just gives you that block cursor customization. Next up is I also like this mini Mac package just because it reminds me of another text editor that I will not mention. If you go back in here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and install this one as well. So I'm going to go back over here, grab this name, mini Mac package and click enter on that and see if there we go. And the one we are looking for is Minimap. Yep, this is the one. Install. I'm just going to go ahead and install that package now. map has successfully installed here uh, there's a couple settings that are actually provided here for you if you want to do absolute mode uh, display the mini map on the left side instead of the right side you can go through here and look through all these settings and adjust it to your liking it's to, just to show you the mini map is actually here um, let's do this console dialog hello world 
There we go. And as you can see, the minimap on the right hand side is actually populating, uh, which is pretty cool. And you can see as this text grows here, see this minimap, you can actually just scroll back up. It's pretty handy when you're actually uh, navigating large sets of code. Close this, don't want to save that. Okay, next up, up is called Open Sesame. And what Open Sesame is, it lets you open files a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and here install Open Sesame on Atom as well. So install Open Sesame search. Open Sesame here. I'm going to click install. I'm just going to go ahead and install Open Sesame on Atom. Actually, need a folder here in order for us to be able to look within that folder. So I'm going to go to File, um, and I'm going to open up a folder here. Actually, I'm just going to drag this one in here. I have an app folder here. I have this app.js file here. Get rid of these lines. Don't need those. And to use Open Sesame, what you have to do is on your keyboard, you're going to have to go ahead and type in Command K, comma O. And this opens up the the file explorer here so you can actually open up different files and you select open this opens it up and that's all there is to uh open sesame here you should check this out uh this this command line uh command line this command can be changed to different uh settings here depending on how you want to use it so you can go through there and change that to something a little bit uh something more you can remember instead of have to remember command k comma o and the last one here is uh, Vim mode, and Vim mode provides you a Vim-like control on Atom. So if you're used to using Vim, then you can use uh, Vim mode here. So I'm going to go back into Atom, and we're going to install it. Vim mode here. I'm going to go in here, get rid of this. And here's Vim mode. I'm going to click install. And now that has finished installing, if we go back in here, you can see I have a Vim-like cursor now. So I can actually navigate all the way to the end of the line, end of the file, get rid of those lines, and I don't want to save that. So that's it. Those are kind of my go-to personal plugins. Again, this is just a small list. There's so much more out there for you to uh, explore as far as uh, Vim, but you can go actually, you can actually go to um, adam.io forward slash packages and you can go through here. There's 3,430 packages available right now for you to be able to install and use within Atom. And there's everything from future packages, newest, newest packages, uh, recently updated, packages and then the packages that are trending so you can go here and do the whole entire month and you can see here there's a bunch of different ones like color picker git plus linter all kinds of different packages so if you're interested in packages go through here if you're interested in developing your own packages go back to the first video where i actually show you the documentation of how and where to get started writing your own packages with c plus plus and javascript again that's all there is for adam thanks so much for watching this video